Today we're going to be taking a look at a new game that releases next week on the Nintendo Switch eShop. It's an action platformer and it's called Bucket Night. Why am I doing this? Hey guys, Van Buren 20 back again. And today we're going to be taking a look at Bucket Night that releases next week on the eShop for only $5. Now you guys know I love retro games, that's why I'm kind of showing this game off, and it's only five bucks, so I think it's definitely worth checking into it next week when it does finally release. You'll notice right away on the main menu that it has an option to turn on a CRT filter, so if you want a more older style look, then you can actually do that. Now, I like a cleaner look myself, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that option off, but the option definitely is there if you choose to use it. So let's go ahead and jump into this game so you guys can see what this gameplay is all about. Now, the first level is kind of more like a tutorial kind of level. It's really easy, kind of get your feet wet so you can kind of get used to the controls. Now, the B button jumps. You can tap the B button twice to do a double jump right there. And then the A button shoots your gun, and that's pretty much it for the controls. Like I said, it's a very simple game. This reminds me of like a game that would have been on like maybe the NES or something. And it's very, very hard, and it gets very, very challenging. Like I said, now this first level here, it's not too hard. But uh, like I said, that's going to change really quick. So that's pretty much the premise of the game. Then at the end, there's a portal, and there you go. Now... What I kind of like about this game is sometimes you'll find like a, a block of cheese and if you like, if you take that block of cheese because everyone does because they think, oh, it's, it's like health or something. No, it actually kills you. So you have to kind of avoid it. So this game's kind of unique because there's certain things that you can't collect because it'll actually cause damage. So it kind of reminds me of something in um, Super Mario Brothers, The Lost Levels, if you guys remember that, the original Super Mario Brothers 2. There was like a mushroom that if you, you know, the poison mushroom, if you got it, it actually killed you instead of, you know, helping you. Kind of like that. But in this game, it's like a block of cheese. And I'll kind of show that off here in a second if we come across one so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But here we go. I, I pretty much try to collect everything I can. And there we go. And I really like the subtle music. And these, these guys with the guns are ruthless, by the way. So I kind of like just shoot them at a distance and just try to dodge everything that they shoot at me. Right there was health. We didn't really need it. Right there's the block of cheese. I'm going to show you. Oh, crap. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So the block of cheese is right there. As you can see right now, we got three and a half hearts. I'm going to get that cheese. And look at that. It almost killed us. Look how much health has got taken away. So definitely want to avoid the cheese. Now I might have screwed myself now because look at this. <laughs> yeah, the game. Look at that, and then it re, and then the game will start you over. Like I should not have got that block of cheese. So it's very very hard. Look at this. We're only on like you know the, what the second level, and look how hard it is. Very very hard game. So I'm not gonna get the block of cheese. I just wanted to show you guys that's definitely it. Definitely will kill you. So definitely try to avoid it. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and try to beat it now now you gotta time the there's some timing involved in this game as well so you, once you get the timing down sometimes you have to play levels over and over again um, to kind of get the timing down to beat it but um and that's kind of how it was back in the day if you guys remember like the old school game so got it Doing good, doing good. Oh no. So yeah, you gotta get the timing down and you're good to go. Now this ain't gonna be a game that everyone is probably gonna want, but if you are an old school gamer like myself, this is gonna be a game that you're probably gonna wanna pick up because like I said, it's only five bucks. Oh yeah, and I like how their gun will actually do damage to the boxes too. So that you can kind of use that to your advantage in the later levels as you guys will see. I don't know if we're going to make it that far because I don't want to make this video too long. But just want to guys give you a feel for the game. A little short little mini review here for you. And uh, I actually, I really I really love this game. Alright, so now we got to time this. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, we need a key. I forgot about that. There's a key. So some levels you actually need a key. So now we got to go try to find the key. Definitely do not get that block of cheese. That will kill you. But uh, all right, here we go. At the, so obviously the key has to be over here on this side. There it is. Got the key. And 
and you're probably going to get frustrated or you're going to die a lot in this game but what's nice is it kind of like lets you restart the level like instantly so there's really no waiting so the game really does kind of progress at a very nice pace which is what i really like about this game and i just love challenging platformers and that's exactly what this game is so there you guys go there's a uh, level 1-2 is complete i love this game uh, for five bucks i don't think you can really beat it but again like i said probably not for everyone unless you're really into retro games like myself i love games like this it's just kind of like this game's meant for me i guess I'm really glad that uh you know i was able to get this game early so i can show it to you guys and it's only five dollars now a lot of people don't really showcase really small games like this early like i do but i feel like indie games need as much love as they can get because i feel like they're the heart of the nintendo switch and i just i love showing my support for small indie developers and look how hard this game is right here man look how hard this level is right here <laughs> i keep dying all right come on there we go and that was pretty hard right there so if if you hit the spikes you instantly die apparently so gotta avoid the Ooh, there we go really got to use that double jump to your advantage and there we go 1-3 is complete and it tells you everything you collect now I think there might be hidden things that you can collect throughout the levels and I honestly don't know if I'm getting everything or not so definitely explore everything because I don't think I am I'm kind of just rushing through it to show you guys see like right down here is another one. Oh man Ah, there we go. I love the music. I, the music, to me, really does add a nice touch to the game. I, I like the nice, subtle music. There we go. Oh, this guy takes... There we go. I was going to say, man, this guy takes quite a few hits. And there's that one. Now, I think I probably missed a little thing because I think I could have went up into the right. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I did miss quite a few things in that level. But I don't know. I, there ain't much more to say about this game, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what do you think of uh, Bucket Knight. I don't know if they decided to use that 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 title because of uh, Shovel Knight. Maybe they're trying to capitalize on that. You know, Shovel Knight was a huge success. That was like an old school game, too. This is a lot different than Shovel Knight, obviously. But, um... I, I, it's like a nice play on words. I wonder if that's why they chose to name this Bucket Knight to kind of like capitalize on how successful Shovel Knight was. I don't know. Leave your comments and what you think, uh, you know, your opinions on that in the, in, in, in the comments below as well. Because <laughs> when I saw Bucket Knight, I just had to kind of do something funny. That's why I put the, the bucket on in the thumbnail and then the, the beginning of this video. I mean, I cannot get this guy. Come on. There we go. Whew. Had barely enough time for that. All right, so I think I'll beat this level and we'll call it a day. I love, man, I love the soundtrack. Oh my goodness, what is... That was like... What is... There was a guy running for, like, his life. Did you see that? There we go. Man, I'm loving the soundtrack. So there was a block of cheese. You gotta avoid that stupid thing. Oh no. we go oh man this is gonna be rough no like you don't have much health like it, it's pretty hard like yeah. you'll see what I mean if you download it it, it gets you I can see a lot of people rage quitting, but don't give up. You'll get it. It's all about learning the patterns and getting the rhythm down with certain of the, with some of the enemies and their shooting and stuff like that. Ooh, man, I still don't have that down. Yeah, you gotta do a double jump. There we go. Gotta be getting close to the end, I would imagine. There we go. He's... 
It's like you gotta like run and cover. <laughs> it's like you gotta shoot and then run for cover. And there we go. There you have it, guys. This has been a look at Bucket Knight on the Nintendo Switch. Leave a comment below. Let me know. Do you think it's worth $5? Like I said, it comes out next week on the Nintendo Switch eShop. I'm having a lot of fun with it. If you love old school games, you should definitely check this out. Like I said, it's only $5. That's pretty much all for right now, guys. Curious to know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, guys, there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again.